Did you know that you could go back a few moments in a picture that you shot? Or that you can create your own filter out of a photo that you really like? Or that you can take a selfie with just a show of your palm and directly get into video mode with just one click? So yeah, there are some settings you can apply on your S20's camera and be able to take more advantage of it. Also guys, I'm trying to reach 200,000 subscribers and it's not gonna happen without your support. It'll be great if you could drop a like, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon and that should do it. Anyway, let's move on to the first one, which is motion photos. It's turned off by default. So if you go to your camera software and turn on motion photos, your phone will record a few seconds of video automatically just before it takes a still photo. But you can use that video part to create a GIF out of it or even a still photo. Just go to the picture you took and then you can scrub through the timeline, stop wherever you think you find a good shot and you can tap here to extract a still photo. Or better yet, you can tap on GIF and select a range to create a GIF out of that motion photo and then save it. So in case you take a photo and you miss a moment, you can literally go back a few moments and get that perfect shot. Anyway, let's move on to the second one and that is creating your own filter, which is not as simple as it sounds. Let's say you'd like a photo and you really like the colors in that picture. You can use those colors to create a filter out of it and then you can apply it to pretty much, you know, any photo you take on a daily basis. So let's say you like this picture or this one or maybe this one. You can then go into your camera, tap on filters and then go into my filters. Tap on the plus icon and then select the image whose colors you really like and you want to create a filter out of. The S20 would automatically create a filter out of it and then you can just apply it to pretty much any photo you take. Coming to the next one, you can just show your palm to your front facing camera and it will take a shot. It's really that easy. I mean, I know I've faced this challenge so many times and I'm, you know, stretching my arm out and trying to take a selfie and the buttons are a little difficult to reach or, you know, the camera is not that stable. Just show your palm and it'll take a shot. It's really that easy and everyone around me is always amazed. The front facing camera detects your palm and then just a few seconds later, it takes a shot. It's epic, so definitely try it out. Uh, it's a setting that you need to enable, so you can go into settings and then there's shooting methods. Just make sure that the setting is turned on where it can capture when it sees your palm. Coming to the next one, on my S20, I can launch my camera directly in video mode or in photo mode with just one click. And this is super handy because a lot of times, you know, there's a moment and you suddenly want to get into video mode. You have to go all the way back to home screen, tap on the camera icon, look for the video mode. And by the time, the moment's pretty much gone. Now to enable this, you'll have to go to your edge panel, tap on the settings icon and then search for this tasks uh, edge panel. Just make sure it's enabled and then click on edit. And then there are a couple of options for camera photo mode and video mode, which must be on the right hand side. If they're not, they're probably on the left. You'll have to select them and get them on the right side. You can obviously reorder it so that it's easy for you to reach. Now, I understand this is not a camera setting, but it's definitely a camera hack and it quickly launches the uh, video mode or the photo mode. And that's pretty much what you need. Now coming to the next one, have you guys ever tried HDR 10 plus video recording on your Galaxy S20? Well, try it out. Now compare these two videos that I'm showing both on the same Galaxy S20. One was shot with HDR 10 plus enabled and the other was shot in regular mode. But the HDR 10 plus videos are a lot more colorful, punchy and vibrant. But there are two downsides to it. One, you can only view an HDR10 plus video on an HDR10 plus compatible screen like your Note 10 or the Galaxy S20. And the other one is you cannot shoot HDR10 plus at 60 FPS. It has to be at 30 FPS, which is not that bad actually. So yeah. Now, have you ever experienced that sometimes you often spend too long in shuffling through camera modes just to get to the right one? It's probably because you've got too many of those modes outside. So you've got to like shuffle through them. Well, you can fix it. And so all you really have to do is go to more, tap on that edit icon, and then long press on modes that you know for a fact that you don't use very often or that you use them really rarely. Just move them inside and then hit save. And just keep the ones that you really need and that'll be the fastest. 
And the last one has to do with ultra wide lens. So if you're someone who takes a lot of ultra wide pictures, you would have noticed that there's some sort of distortion that happens at the corners or the edges. That can be fixed. So all you have to do is go into camera settings and then scroll down to save options. And there's something called as ultra wide shape correction. Make sure that it's enabled and that's pretty much it. And that's it guys, those were seven really easy settings for your Galaxy S20 camera to be able to get more out of it. Anyway, if you've got any questions, feel free to comment them in the section below. I'll make sure to answer those. As always, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. I'll see you guys in the next one.